Hi there. This is a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to record your French midterm using Audacity at the iMac Lab in the Paris Center. The very first thing you have to do is make sure that you plug in the headset that you got into one of the USB ports on the back of the computer. It doesn't matter which USB port, but make sure that the keyboard is obviously also still plugged in. Back at the computer, you'll have gotten this kind of a file somehow from your instructor. It's a zip file, so our first step with it is to unzip it. Do this just by double-clicking on it. Now this folder will show up. Inside this folder is the project file for Audacity. You can tell because it's called something 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 dot AUP. So double-click on that. And now we see Audacity. The first step in Audacity is to make sure that our speakers and microphone are set to Logitech USB headset. This way it'll play through the headphones and record the little microphone next to the headphones. If we have it set to anything else, then it might not record correctly. Now the second step is to listen through the entire exam one time to see what's going on. Okay, so there's obviously two questions. The first question is here, and the second question is here. There are these light gray gaps in between these two audio files that we'll get back to in a little bit. But let's try listening just to the first question by itself. One way to do this is by selecting here and stretching across the length of the entire question. You saw that it played automatically. I click, stretch, and, and it plays automatically. And I can do the same thing over here. Okay, let's listen to the first question one more time. Okay, I know how to answer this question. So, this black line shows where the file will start playing if I press play or if I press record. But I only want to start recording from here so that it plays the question and then I'll record my answer. So, one more time, let's listen to the let's listen to the question. All right, got it. Record by clicking this button here. Uh, je m'appelle... Oh man, I missed it. Okay, obviously there's not enough time here in this little gap for me to record my entire answer. So, the, so we'll have to move this question for a little bit later. Do that by m changing your tool. You have the selection tool here, but then switch to the time shift tool, like that. Now I can move this audio chunk all the way over here if I want to. And I have all of this space within which to record my answer. So let's go here and delete everything that I already recorded by clicking, by double clicking on it and then doing cut. Now if I start everything again and press record, let's see what happens. Oh wait, where did the question disappear to? Okay, let's stop all that. It added a third track. So now I have the original question here, this blank track, and this third track here. This is way too much. So by clicking in these little X's, I get rid of all the tracks. So I'm back to the beginning with this gap here. Now let's record for real. Je m'appelle Roman Gary. Okay. I stop recording by pressing the stop button, as I showed there. But it, it caught my little OK that I said there at the end when I was ready to stop recording. That's all right. As you can tell, all this silence and stuff here, we don't need any of that. So I can just select it and drag like that, go to the Edit menu, and do Split Delete. And now it's gone, and it's replaced by this empty light gray space. And I can do that over here, too. Edit split delete. Now check this out. If I switch back to the time shift tool, I can even move what I already recorded over here and it'll be a nice little seamless transition. If I click here to make the black line here and press play. Awesome. And now in fact there's too much time in between the question, the response, and the next question. So let's move this back over here and press play again. Je 
Sounds good. So let's listen to the second question a couple more times to rem to figure out what our answer will be. Stretch, let go. One more time. Okay, I know how to answer this. Now, I can move the black line, again using the selection tool, put the black line here. So if I press play, okay. Now, of course, if I do record, it'll start recording a third track. So instead, and this is the tricky part, I'll switch it so that the black line, the play line, is here at the end of my second question, at the end of my response, sorry. Play it. Okay. Now, instead of clicking record by itself, see how it says shift for append record? I'm going to, I'm going to do a shift when I, I'm going to hold down shift when I press record so that it appends it. So let's play it one more time. Okay. I'm ready for this. Hold down shift, press record. J'aime le rap et le jazz. Stop. Now you see it added the second chunk here. Let's move it over a little bit. It added the second chunk here with this black line in between the two. So if I switch the black line over here, it's a seamless audio file, which or seamless audio performance. So let's select all this silence because we don't need it and go to edit, split delete. Now it's two chunks. My first answer, select this, okay, and the second answer, double click to select the whole thing. Great. We can get rid of the silence at the end here. Instead of doing split delete, I can also just type the backspace key. But let's do a split delete. Okay. And now obviously, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole project. This is this button. Okay. So now we have the first question, first answer, second question, second answer. Let's place the black line here, or let's even move it all the way to the beginning. Let's place the black line here and play. Okay, sounds exactly right, except this is a little bit late, so let's just move this over so that it lines up with the end of the second question. So first question, first answer, second question, second answer. Switch back to the selection tool, press here, and press play. Sounds perfect ready to submit to my instructor. So the last step, once all this is put together, is to export it. If I saved it, and I can save obviously throughout the whole throughout this whole process, it'll save it only as a project. So save project, save project as. But my instructor does not want a project. My instructor wants an mp3 file. So instead of saving, we have to go to export. Export and I'll change this to that, which is my last name, .mp3. Format mp3 files, that's correct. Options I don't have to worry about, and it'll save to the desktop. Super. Click, click Save. Then I can leave all this blank. It'll warn me about my tracks being mixed down to a single mono channel. This is totally okay, and I can ignore that warning. And it did it. So now, if I hide Audacity and go to the Finder, I see this folder here. If I click on Desktop, oh, there's an MP3 here. If I click on it and then type the space bar. Bonjour. Tu t'appelles comment? Je m'appelle Roman Gary. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes comme musique? J'aime le rap et le jazz. I can hear that the entire file got through. Super, fantastic. Everything works exactly like it's supposed to. So I'm ready to email this MP3, and I'm done with my exam. Hope that was useful for you. Thank you very much.